Hey, that's just me. That's, um, it's already. Look at my clock, my watch. It's already 6:40. I'm doing the check the machine. There's no one else here. And for fishing, and oh shit, I got something on. Hold on. Check the machine. There's no one else here for fishing right now. There's a lot of trash in the parking lot. So this. This needs to say, get ready, insert cash or card, push cancel, and then I do a, um, my hair must be crooked. So we had this, like, parking issue, and car, vehicle issues, okay? So I want to, I want to keep this brief because I need to save the memory, and the memory on my iPad is filled my or I whatever they want nine dollars a month nine ninety nine a month for was it three terabytes or three gigabytes I, don't know. I think I'm paying two three dollars a month already so I gotta just let it go right now and because um, that's gonna be a forever bill definitely because um, like you yeah, what if you shut it off and you can't access your stuff like if you don't use that service if you upgrade somewhere else. I wanted to talk about two things while I get um, my stuff ready. I do have a stomach ache. So the, the thing is, I'm super stressed about not being able to find our insurance card. I don't know if there's even one in the car I was driving, but the other one last night, the glove box was full of junk. So I need to go back and s I took some stuff out. I was like, God, I hope I didn't take the insurance, the actual correct insurance card out. But they were expired, and I hate that. And you still have the same policy, but you need that new expiration date. It's already the middle of 20... Well, it's more like the middle end of 2021. Um, oh, shoot, I grabbed one for the other car for 2020. Why do I feel like we got a uh, 20... Uh, we just had this car sitting and now it's... Anyways, let me walk around first. I'm trying to figure out how to do this in one hand. Um, <laughs> do you like an attached selfie stick? So the luxury is um, having the vehicles, trying to keep track of all of them. We had a boat trailer, we had to move the whole COVID thing with the dormitoriums. You get you get like used to where you can't make appointments. You can't get a hold of anyone on the phone. There's no one in the office. You can't go to an office. You can't use the internet for certain things. You can't use a kiosk. So it's the days of just sitting in line for titles and licenses and all that seem to be short. Like they were non-existent for a while. But then it's like, oh shoot, once you realize you gotta do something or change your license or whatever, then like, oh shoot. Now, they ended that moratorium in June. Oh my god. Some other one for commercial truck drivers. It, August 15th. Like, oh, August 15th. No, wait, that's not me. Wait, even if it was me, that was like three days ago. So the luxury, oh my gosh, this is incredibly late. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the moratorium is gone for all this stuff. And so we all gotta make sure. Oh, look at this. This is a piece of the sidewalk. I thought it was going to be really heavy. Like I went to kick it and it's not cement. It's kind of like a styrofoam. A little bit heavier than that. That's, I guess it has to stop stuff, but it just like breaks it off. They're all broken. Alright, so I'm picking out trash with you guys. Um, I went and printed an insurance for the car. For me and my kid, I didn't need both of our names on it. That also, well, I found one that wasn't expired. I had to go into the site. I didn't save it. I found one for me and my kid for two different cars that I have out here. And I know that he just, oh, I guess they have the proof in the DMV system. Anyways, because he just went and got a third car, which would actually be our fifth car. We have the boat and the boat trailer, and 
his mom organized some stuff and he pulled he pulled these raggedy old files out somewhere and I was like, what's this joke? And I, for the first time two weeks ago, I went and tried to organize it a little, which I shared on another uh, video. Oh, yeah, it's like candy bars, a bunch of ants. Y'all, I never knew you guys like chocolate. That's what I'm talking about. Um, oh, yuck, I hate when there's saliva. It's like one of my yuck. Like, I almost look at saliva worse than, like, the walking by something that smells like urine or seeing feces that, of course, I don't want to touch it, but something about saliva is, you just spit in the toilet, like, think about grass, like, think about walking around barefoot or sitting in the grass having a picnic, putting in a favorite blanket and throw on the grass, watch the sunset and think someone spit on it. Uh, can you do that? Put your pee and your poop and your spit. I had to spit a couple times when I was running because I was like choking. Um, I had inhaled talcum powder shower to shower as a child and I feel like I went through a healing crisis when I couldn't jog anymore and then the car accident and then been raw food since the car accident. Mostly raw before the car accident because I thought I was invincible and then when I couldn't exercise at all even the wee fit or the exercise bike because of the car accident for years. 2019 I did a little bit. My jog was slower than my walk pace. It was slower than my son's walk pace. But it was just the fact that I was like moving my arms like a jogger. It's so embarrassing. Yep. Thank God the race I went to was a kind of family fun. Ellicott tag title tags title and insurance Mrs. Zia expert or Mr. Tags title insurance cars. I wanna see if they need it if they ever need a notary. I was just watching Griffith. I don't know if it does he call himself Hoople's cat? Who's Hoople's cat? Anyways, Griffith does the notary uh, videos. I think it's called Griffith Notary. Hoople's cat must be a proper, I don't, it's just best to watch them both. So the reason I'm talking about this is I've been stressed out since last night. I've been mad. Um, we did put the, well, my, put, my boyfriend put the um, boat in the trailer and we gave the keys back to the landlords. It's not even the landlords, but um, I should have documented that. I clean the place. I'll put the video up if I can. I don't know if I could do it because my signal is going to go out. I'll see if I can do it when I get back in the vehicle on my phone. Um, 23-ish minutes, maybe longer. Looks like there's some trash over there at the beach, so I'm going to have to go over there and get that. I'll just take you to the pier. Ah, oh, it's like I spent all day cleaning, so I need him to move his car by 11, potentially 10. So, we also need to go to the free bread place. So, I'm about to turbo speed this. It's already raining actually. But now this is tape. Some got tape all over the ground. Just see if I can pull it up. The second part of the video was investing. So, talking about prepping and say, oh, I don't have that many preps. Don't don't try to rob me. Somebody's already robbing our um, trash can, putting trash in our recycling. They're filling it up every day. It's it's overflowing. The top's not going down on it. There's critters and cockroaches and stuff in the um, premises, and that just doesn't jive with me. I'm scared. I I'm scared. I'm seeing mouse turds. Like I'm trying to look at every little piece of fuzz. Like I don't even know if I saw a mouse turds earlier. In the bath or under my boot, I was all paranoid. Um, I don't know what this junk is. Some kind of string crap. But I, um, there was a cockroach in here. Speaking of cockroaches, I'm leaving it. Let's we'll see. That trash is almost full. Or it's half full. 
gonna have to come back to empty the creek. Cockroach in there last time. Not Monday. Today's only Tuesday. Oh shoot, today is Wednesday. So the trash should be emptied Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at least, if not more. So I, I'm trying to figure out. I'm supposed to be doing patrolling as a ranger, and giving citations and asking customers if they need help. And I end up being a trash woman. And nobody wants to do that job, but they were talking about maintenance and picking up tree limbs that fall after storms and fixing up the machine and kind of guiding people to get their parking permits. Like like a ranger, like, like you're kind of a guide and educator, right? Not, not just picking up trash. Like, say, I'm not a lawn cutter. I'm not a trash woman, I end up being one I probably cut grass if they give me a lawnmower, to tell you the truth. In fact, I might, I might actually bring that up. And I gotta walk through this grass to get trash and it's um, ticks. I don't know why they don't have a trash can here. Between here and there, it's like they need a trash can. It's people just shove their trash in the bin and leave it on the ground. People that might actually use the trash, they don't use it because there's none. And it's easy to get out here, not in Oregon, get plastic bags. At least for now, when you get your stuff, you put your crap in the bag and you take it out, off. You don't just throw it in the water. A lot of stuff gets thrown in the water, bottles, plastic, animals are harmed, the earth is filthy. So I wanted to talk about investments. I talked about prepping and I don't want anybody robbing us. We do have protection. We need to always, always increase your protection, your self-defense, always increase your perimeter. Um, so we're gonna talk to someone about increasing our perimeter. Um, I got really paranoid because I can't see out the windows. I could see the parking lot where our car is. I can't see out the windows and um, I have um, kind of get paranoid about them, about that. Um, if we climb over the tub, you can look out that window. I think if you climb up, if the bathroom we had or the kitchen, we have these chairs. And they're like outdoor chairs that go to a metal, like a wrought iron table and chairs with the glass insert that I don't know why. Anyways, there's some weird stuff that was in the storage unit that's now in the apartment. So, um, but this looks all bloody and disgusting. It's not going in my bucket. There's a lot of gross stuff in my bucket. So, it's not like I can avoid it, but let's see if this is full. It's not full. You can't lift it if it's full. That's too much. Say we don't stop eating until we're full too fast and then we're overstuffed. So I'm not going to tell you whether I have these investments, but I could say that I might start it somewhere. Penny stocks. I don't know what that means, but someone could try to rob me if I had $3 worth of Apple stock, like, which is probably, I probably do have. So what happens? Look at this, guys. These apps. Look this stuff up to make sure you, um... Ooh, ooh something's biting me. Oh, my God. Something's really biting my leg. I just sanitized the seat. I, there's other people that drive our truck. When I first started, I was getting bites in the wintertime in my back, having a whole bunch of clothes. I feel like a flea just bit my butt. Having a bunch of clothes, um, on tucked in shirts and stuff. I have to put my hands on my pants. This I feel like I got a bit by something. Oh god, you can feel like something like Dang These shorts are baggy though. I can't blame all the people. I gotta clean my own mess. So speaking of talking about others, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm dirt poor and I am um, I'm dirt poor and I have tons of debt. My debt has over doubled 
and it is a scary world because my rent keeps doubling, my income keeps going down, and when I do some self-employment and some other stuff and I'm not a employee, I can't show the banks for the mortgage that I have a paycheck. I can't show them, a, like, a, this company has this EIN number and blah, 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 and I'll get checks from settlement and title companies. It's all about using those, but they're not going to, they're going to count my job. They were counting my job that was $12 an hour. I had two other jobs. One was eighteen fifty, and one was eighteen sixty nine or something. And then the other one is like between 75, I should say between 60 and 225 per job. So that would be per, per like three or four hours. Um, the work part is pretty much two hours, but you know what I mean though. So I'm trying to get the work with the client down to two hours. I did that with the realtor there. So just like be methodical and just go through it and focus and help the customer. I mean, one, two phone calls is another five minutes added. That's good because you want it correct. But it's if you got too much going on, Being there longer would be better than having to go back and redo the whole thing or go back and fix errors. Let's put it that way. But yeah, I'm just talking about income, but not counting any of that. It's, oh, I just went and did this thing for an hour and a half and I got paid $225 and that's not abnormal. Like, oh, well, let's, let us keep saying, thinking that you had $12 an hour because in January and December you had $12 an hour, which even that has gone up. And there's, there's a discrepancy in your income. Well, that's what happens when you're pay, pay goes up and your hours go up that's a good discrepancy that means that you're earning more do I still qualify for unemployment yeah why because I earn so little um my teeth I was just moving my teeth um just not have movement what do you do when you have braces and your teeth go back to being crooked of course I have movement she was jiggling my teeth loose and now I'm gonna report it I have seen on full spectrum survival, do not, they're like, do not invest in stocks, you're a fool. They have these like Robin Hood and stuff where small people can spend their, like, I don't know, tax credits on, on t stocks and think that they're cool. It's like, well, that just drives the price up. So the rich people that have tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands in these certain stocks, like say Apple, they're going to have us little people giving that two, three dollars and thousands of us do it, it pushes their numbers up so they can like buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, or just have more portfolio. Um, I don't know about if the dividends, how much that changes. So I heard my uncle talk about dividends and I thought I'm going to get into finding out what that, oh, I, I ordered stock and something and I got an email saying you got three cents or one cent in dividends. I'm like, what? Like, oh my God, this is what uncle was talking about. He didn't say, he goes, I make my money off dividends. It's not about the stocks. It's not about this. So, the stock can go up and down if you're not a day trader or someone who, who gets rid of them all the time. That's a lot of I gotta get to the next site. This is getting old. It's not, I could sit here all day, but I'm realizing that I can't do that. Um, so, having too much stuff, having rental properties, when you're the renter, the tenant, not the landlord, you're getting rid of all. If you were the landlord, you would know that your house is paid for, or mortgage, or refinance, and you're paying $400 a month, and your tenant's paying $2,000 a month, and you know you're running around at the yacht clubs, and having paying people to transport your boat to Mexico, you know what I'm saying, and getting ready to pick out a new jet plane, private, but that's what you're talking about, at least out here is what I'm saying. That's what I'm seeing. I didn't want all that. I wanted to just be a doctor and make a living. I didn't want all that. But guess what? If I cannot make it at all, then I need to think, jump over that middle class that $40,000 a year as a naturopathic doctor. You gotta think that you're gonna end up having somebody transport your cell boat to what did I say? Mexico. So, um, so if I empty this, if I empty the first one, then I think, oh 
shoot. They're gonna think that I emptied all of them, but I think what people do is they come and dump all their house and car trash in that first one. Um, so I'm learning about that. Uh, I bought some crypto off of, uh, Facebook, off of PayPal in 2020, I think. I don't think I did it in 2019. So someone's like, this lady at the store was like, oh, you need to get into Bitcoin. This was like six years ago. Like, oh, Bitcoin, what the heck is that? I came home and told my kids, my son's like, what, you don't know what that is? Like, let me explain it. Like, oh my God, it's over my head. Digital currency, like, I don't know if you even use that term. Like, it's over my head. So I, I had gotten a key for crypto and then I didn't want to pay the mining fees. I think at the time were like, what, 35 or 50 bucks for someone to mine it. So I was not wanting to do that, right? I should have done it because it would have been, what, $1,000 per Bitcoin. Per, or sorry, not Bitcoin. Yeah, for Bitcoin. Um, so I bought a couple things off of PayPal, and I bought more than one current type of currency. I ended up, I have no idea what I have. I don't know how to get it out. I don't know what you do when you cash it out. If you think you earned, let's say you earned $40 if you sold today. For all you know, the fees could be 60 For all you know, the fees could be 38 Like, 20 Like, if the fees are even 10 I don't. that doesn't seem like it's worth it, does it? But 10 is better than so I, I haven't I meant to buy and sell stock or buy and sell some kind of digital currency just to find out what my fees when I mean, some stuff you buy your stock and there's a fee and there's you buy it and there's no fee but you feel like oh this you don't know what's going to happen when you go to sell like oh shoot I have so you have $200 in a certain stock and you need $200 because you are lost your job or country closed down and you need 200 more for your rent i don't know if you can just pay say oh i have 200 oh well, we're only going to give you 180 so i need to figure that out so i wouldn't put my eggs in the same basket silver coins gold coins can you buy bullion did i wish i bought bullion years ago yeah do i have the money no i would have used student loans should i have done it probably gold uh, silver coins do you work in a restaurant can you find them when you're counting the till and switch them out. Can you ask a bank for rolls? Everyone's doing that. A few years ago, they weren't doing that. More than like seven years ago. Here comes somebody. So, with the um, stuff you can find on auction or at a local shop, which I don't shop at, you can order um, yearly coins. You can order like dollars, say a dollar, five dollar, silver. Coin. I don't do that. Sometimes they have minimum. Like you must buy. What was this one? I saw an ad. They're like 20 minimum, 20 maximum or something for family, for household. And they were like five minimum or something. And they're like two hundred dollars. Or it ended up it would have been. Um, it would have been thousand dollars minimum that I would have played to get this you know, literally you could go you could spend two hundred fifty dollars on that silver coin and go to the bank and say hey I need to cash this in you, you would only get like the five dollar face value you wouldn't you wouldn't you would be careful if you were stuck in a candy machine soda machine I don't even see candy machine I guess I see it once in a while um so there's silver and mercury there's other things like that. I'm sure there's another type of thing people are collecting. Real estate is one of the big ones. Um, usually real estate goes up. Would you buy a mortgage right now and have a have a underwater mortgage? Maybe. I don't think the inflation and all this is going going away. I gotta go over to this beach area that will be done. So can you invest in yourself so what the preppers are saying is go get up some water store store water clean water fresh water tap water bottled water have a spring have a water filtration have water tablets you know can you do that 
We're living in a place there's absolutely not even an inch of yard. There's not even an inch. And I'm scared to death of that. So I said, you know, this looks kind of like a boat, a submarine, or a spaceship. I said, my daughter said, this looks like a spaceship, man. I showed her just a ceiling on the kitchen. And, mm, yeah, it looks like, oh. I said, it's going to be like we're on our own Star Trek episode and we're going to be self-contained. There's people under us and we have to know that people are. And that's always what happened on Star Trek. So I'm sorry, getting on the computer, we're going to overthrow you or what is that? You will assume you will be assimilated. Like there's always someone get, getting on and trying to battle. And so whoever's using our trash can and stuff, who would say that if they're stealing from someone else by using their trash, our trash and not paying for their own, who's to say they're not going to break into your car? Who's to say they're not going to find out that you and your partner both leave for work at a certain time and get back at no earlier? Who's to say that you're not going to... only takes one time to break the window because I realize there's a door with a window and another door with a window. Shoot. So... Somebody had that in their car. You gotta be careful if there's an emergency. If you need to, if you end up in this water. <laughs> We're going over to the beach. It's not a beach, it's a kayak landing. It would be nice if it was a beach. It's probably the neighbors that don't want people up here. The water's pretty high. I don't think I can get this piece of trash because I'm gonna end up getting drenched. But, uh, I gotta wait till the tide goes down, so I'll come back. Probably I'll be back tomorrow. I'll, I'll come back maybe later today. I'll take this. Hopefully, it doesn't have cockroaches. In it. Get a garbage bag and get this. Get to the next site. Well, then I think I'll backtrack. No, I think I'll just do it in the order you're supposed to. I'm not looking forward to cleaning the other place. I think they need to have all hands on deck. I don't think it's right to try to force one person to county. It's a, trash people don't pick up these trash. If they pick up another trash, then they have a machine and a truck that just lifts up the garbage. And they don't have to spend, walk around and pick it all up. That's my exercise right now, so I'm not trying to complain too much. But the one where someone dumped like 10 big bags of trash all over the ground. I mean... They want me there eight hours. This one's full too. Want me there eight hours a day to do that. I got another job, another appointment. Like, they need it. If they pay more, I'll stay longer. But because you're not paying a living wage, you're, I mean, you're not even paying enough for a teenager to um, get a uh, pay their insurance on their car and gas. Like, literally, I mean. If I was a teen or a young adult, it would just pay that and name me a little bit for a couple snacks here and there. Um, so I'll do, I'll do these two trash cans. I think it's someone else's job. So I'm a sucker, but I'm going to do it while I'm here because I don't have to rush and undo the other gates. So I do have to undo the picnic area. So if you're going to invest if you're gonna insure you could let's just let's just make something up and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it and this is not unique okay let's just do something I'm already doing let's say that I was prepping by buying food or getting canned tuna from the food pantry and let's say that I end up um, okay this is real life so I end up going on a couple of sites to get uh, some used clothes bundles. You don't pick them out. It is, they, they choose how. They choose what you're going to do. And you um, get all these awkward, either extra small, extra, extra large clothes. So you don't have a washing machine. You don't wash them. They're kind of like nice, but they're not wrinkled, but 
they're in a they're in a quarantine bag. So let's say you got two, three bins of this stuff. Let's say you have two bins of clothes and some knickknacks that you're trying to sell and a, uh, like a purse full of um, costume jewelry. This is about to blow away. Um, step on it. Sorry, turn the phone off. Let's say you don't have it on eBay. The stuff you have, the pictures are crappy. And let's say you're trying to declutter because you want to spend the next five months cleaning out your personal stuff, selling this stuff any way you can, and then putting all that stuff like, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, towards purchasing a, a piece of property and saving up to build on it. Say there's a building on it, a little building on it, but you want to build better. And say you need, say you need $65,000 five months. <laughs> but it seems like a lot of money. I don't know how to do that. Let's just say you need $65,000. Let's, let's say five months. How much is that? 50000 in five months. That's, ten, that's like $10,000 a month. Let's say you need 25000 in five months. I think that's 5000 a month over what you pay. So, so yeah, it ends up being between five and ten thousand a month. That seems too high for me. Let's just play it, play it like that. So what do you do? So you only got two bins of clothes. There, each thing in there is only worth like ten bucks, maybe twenty, before fees. So what do you do? You hustle. Every dollar you bring in, if you want twenty-five grand, it's minus. Now you have two, twenty-four nine nine nine. 24998 every dollar you bring in see where, I'm, see where I'm going with this oh you make jewelry oh someone just bought that $25 boom you have some kind of name brand rare coat someone just paid $250 boom subtract that so you work your way instead like those uh, thermometers you work your way up uh, I like doing subtract um, getting to goal only need 22,000 now Oh, how many how many weeks have gone by? Oh, six. Oh, I gotta hustle. Well, keep doing that. Do you invest it? Do you lose it in the stock market? Do you use it in crypto? No, I wouldn't do it. But can you put a little bit of money you already have in a CD? I don't know. I've never done a CD. Look into it. Because now you think you need this money in five months. You only you're not you're not getting to goal. My mind is ticking right now. It's thinking. I'm like, these are numbers that are astronomical for me. If I brought in a thousand dollars a month, I'm like patting myself on the back, even though my living expenses are three thousand. That's no luxuries, no food, not even toilet paper. So use of the toilet paper you already have. So my mind is tick, 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 tick. so I have to come back. People are making ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month on eBay. It's not even talking about um, Facebook. Amazon sellers and Etsy and all that. So you hustle. Let's do an education etiquette and business. I'll get off here. So education. Excuse me. Do what's do what's in your heart. It's not all about book smart. It's not all about buying classes. If you educate, like I'm watching this bird. And you watch the birds fight, and then you watch the birds eating up, fighting over dead meat. This is. Are they fit? Yeah. Did they reproduce? Yeah. Are they keeping their selves and their offspring alive? Yeah. And maybe their little clan. So you can learn from nature. You can learn from the trees. There's symbiosis in the trees. There's movement. There's survival. There's them shedding off limbs and, you know, having all that stuff. Okay. Um, and you can add that to your book smarts. Etiquette. Be yourself. Listen to your instincts. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do etiquette for other people, but the one etiquette I found after yesterday's stress hybrid is, ooh, wow, he's like this drift, is, um, here comes somebody, sorry. Be yourself and be happy, be joyful for your life and your chance. And then business, I just talked about it. Write down your plan and look at your goals and see where you are regularly and, uh, and check your Get rid of it. added expenses. Bye.